I'm Smith for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. And this week, we've got a lot of developer news about Android. So for you Android developers out there, you're in for a treat. Starting with the latest Android devices Samsung unveiled at Galaxy Unpacked in Seoul, including the new Galaxy Z Flip 5, Z Fold 5, the Galaxy Watch 6 series, and the Galaxy Tab S9 series. The Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Z Fold 5 brings two brand new foldables to the Android ecosystem, so you'll want to learn the latest about how to ensure your apps work beautifully on these new foldables by providing app experiences with fully adaptive UIs. Check out the post for the top recommendations on how you can adjust your app layout and behavior based on device configuration and available features rather than the physical type of the device, so you can give your best app experience to users on these new foldables in the Android ecosystem. This week, we've redesigned the Play Store with four major updates to help users find high quality large screen apps on Play, including refreshing app listings pages, ranking and quality improvements, streamlined store navigation, and a split screen search experience. Games with high quality videos will show a video banner at the top of their app listings page, and we've reorganized apps and games details pages in a multi-column layout. The ranking and quality changes help apps and games that adhere to our large screen app quality guidelines rank higher in searches in apps and games home. The streamlined store navigation includes moving to a left side navigation rail on larger screens, placing menus closer to users thumbs. And the newly launched split screen search now displays search results and app details pages side by side. To learn more about these updates, including links to our large screen app quality guidelines and a session on app quality from Google I.O., check out the post. We're thrilled to announce the stable release of Android Studio Giraffe. In the latest release, we've upgraded the IntelliJ platform to 2022.3, including a brand new visual look and feel in Android Studio, improvements to live edit, compose animation previews, a new device explorer, a new SDK upgrade assistant, the ability to use Kotlin DSL, and much more. These are only some of the new features in Android Studio Giraffe. To learn more about all of the new features and more detail for the ones we covered here, check out the post, which also includes a link to download Android Studio Giraffe. We've recently released TensorFlow 2.13 and Keras 2.13. The biggest highlights here include publishing Apple Silicon wheels, which means when you install TensorFlow on an Apple Silicon Mac, you'll be able to use the latest version of TensorFlow. These new releases also include the new Keras v3 format being default for .keras extension files, new options for the Python TensorFlow Lite interpreter, new functions and usability improvements for the tf.data APIs, and much more. For the full details, check out the post. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Submit for the Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Available features rather than the physical dipe. Oh, dipe. <laughs>